This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. Let's get started. Some authors use the term variation in a technical sense as implying a modification directly due to the physical conditions of life, and variations in this sense are supposed not to be inherited. But who can say that the dwarfed condition of shells in the brackish waters of the Baltic, or dwarfed plants on alpine summits, or the thicker fur of an animal from far northwards, would not in some cases be inherited for at least some few generations, and in this case I presume that the form would be called a variety. Some authors use the term variation in a technical sense as implying a modification directly due to the physical conditions of life, and variations in this sense are supposed not to be inherited. But who can say that the dwarfed condition of shells in the brackish waters of the Baltic, or dwarfed plants on alpine summits, or the thicker fur of an animal from far northwards, would not in some cases be inherited for at least some few generations, and in this case I presume that the form would be called a variety. Again, we have many slight differences which may be called individual differences, such as are known frequently to appear in the offspring from the same parents, or which may be presumed to have thus arisen, from being frequently observed in the individuals of the same species inhabiting the same confined locality. No one supposes that all the individuals of the same species are cast in the very same mold. These individual differences are highly important for us, as they afford materials for natural selection to accumulate, in the same manner as man can accumulate in any given direction individual differences in his domesticated productions. Again, we have many slight differences which may be called individual differences, such as are known frequently to appear in the offspring from the same parents, or which may be presumed to have thus arisen, from being frequently observed in the individuals of the same species inhabiting the same confined locality. No one supposes that all the individuals of the same species are cast in the very same mold. These individual differences are highly important for us, as they afford materials for natural selection to accumulate in the same manner as man can accumulate in any given direction individual differences in his domesticated productions. <laughs>